Hello, welcome to Prior Learning Assessment Questionnaire for Harrisburg Area Community College, Central Pennsylvania's Community College. We're glad you're here and we hope that this easy to use tool will help you find opportunities to receive credit for your prior learning. So to, to get started, what you want to do is using the link provided to you by your advisor and in the email, you go come to this point and fill out your personal information. Name, last name, cell phone is optional. Email, you must use your Hawkmail uh, email address or the system will not recognize you as a hack student. And give yourself a password that you can easily remember. That will allow you to enter the system and sign up and start. Now I've already done that, so I will log in. And if you go into this, fill out part of it, you can always come back, everything is saved. And so this would be how you would come back, back to it if you uh, didn't finish entirely the first time through. You can uh, log in at the top right hand corner uh, and it will actually, if you're using the same computer and remember, of uh, your login. So it's first thing it's going to ask you is to select your advisor from the drop down menu. If you're not working with an advisor uh, yet, uh, you can go ahead and close this. Um, if you are, choose their name from the from that drop down menu. Now, when you come back to this, it will have it laid out in this uh, checkbox, but you will see it much more like uh, this. This is how you will be asked about you. And you can put in it, check as many boxes as you fits your description. You can you continue by moving forward into the, into the process. Um, you can fill out as much or as little of the sections as, as applicable to you. Uh, it's not going to keep you from going forward uh, until you've filled it all out. You can always go back to sections that you, when you think of something that you've missed, all right? So the first section has to do with language. And if you have taken the CLEP test and are fluent in a, in a language other than English. So if you've no, like myself, then you can are going to move on. If you have yes, you can click yes before moving on. You can always change your answers, remove the language, or add another language, um, or in that same t modality in each section, you can add or subtract uh, at any time. The next one I most likely is best to come back to. So this section. Is, is for the things that don't fit in our other sections going forward. So probably the best way to uh, fill this out is to go ahead and click through this, remembering to come back to that informal learning. If there's anything that, do, that you feel like will fit and not fit, uh, doesn't fit in any of the sections that we're gonna get to uh, going forward. So if there's work experience, you've had more than five years of work experience in a particular field that might relate to what you want to study, uh, go ahead and upload your resume uh, or produce a link to that resume. We'll talk about how to match that up to uh, potential classes a little later. All right, push continue. Life experience, these are activities, leadership, leisure, we have a whole section for military. So that may be uh, the best place to put the military activities, but this would be other activities that don't show up on say our resume, uh, what you participated, how long uh, of these life experiences that may uh, have provided you with some college level learning in your past. If you have received any uh, certi certifications by the American Council of Education or some other certifying body 
uh, in healthcare, in uh, computers, any of those that were actual uh, recognized national certification, put as much of the description in there as we can so we can search our database to see if it matches up with any of the learning for any of our classes. If you've taken a standardized exam, again, we're just continuing each time uh, to push that continue button. Again, if we forget something or go too far, we can always go back. Uh, this is the AP, the International Baccalaureate exam, CLEP exam, DSST exams, anything that might be uh, one of those types of exams and you've taken and, and gotten a score, put it in there. Uh, write as many of them as you can, as will, it will give you the opportunity to, to put as many in there as possible. You're not going to run out of space. Click continue. Military experience, official uh, military experience on your uh, joint services transcript and the credits that are applicable to that. You can upload that, that a transcript or an unofficial a copy of that so that we can start the process. Uh, at some point we may need to have that official transcript, but this will allow us to do some uh, identification of what might be available for credit for your military experience. Moving on, we continue again. If there are places that you have worked and areas that you have um, in your job experience that might match up with, say, a business administration, by cl clicking on this, you can see the courses and the learning outcomes that you may be able to uh, establish that you have the learning from so that you may match up your area of expertise and to the things that are covered in that class. Again, then we have completed our next steps. Now we can go back to any of them. All of them are here. Remember, we did not consider the informal learning officially, and so we might go back uh, and add to things if there was something that didn't come up, uh, some kind of a training program at work that we received a certificate or uh, some other recognition or something that we can point to uh, that wasn't brought up in it, doesn't show up on a resume, doesn't show up in a standardized exam or any of the other pieces. We can go back here, put that in and it can be considered. When this is all completed, all this material, all this information goes to your advisor uh, and they then will help and contact you about helping you work through how this uh, credit could uh, come about uh, based on what the information you filled out. So this is a, a help with, for you to identify the potential credit. This does not award credit for anything at the college, but simply helps us, you and us, identify the potential uh, that there might be to receive college credit for your past experience.